and we are back yet again for a, another episode of my Let's Play, obviously. And you'll see that, well, for one, I've got the grass spreading across here, and that there's a very, very large hole. Now, up there used to be, I think there was two wheat farms and one of the village houses. As you can see, there is no more village. In fact, there's pretty much no more desert. But, uh, I'm sure you can see that guy kind of doing the uh, SMP glitchy stuff. Which is all day enough, lately it's just been me on the server, which is kind of depressing. But, uh, I built these tiny little houses, and I had removed all the doors from the other ones, so these were the only place they would go. And the moment they were all in here, I immediately locked them all shut blocked them all off so there's no way for them to get out. Zombies do occasionally get down in there and I have to slaughter them when they get near the doors, but I got these little holes that let me see these things. But, uh, now, this area is 60 this way, to the wall, wall to wall, inside of the wall. If you include the walls, it's 62. And then it's 78 from wall to wall, or 80 if you include the walls. Uh, it was originally uneven when I first did it, so, I had to fix that. I had a tree farm here, that's why all these torches are here. That is the middle of that wall, that is the middle of that wall, that's the middle of that wall, and that's the middle of that wall, and that's the middle of the area. But, uh, I have an idea on what I plan to do with this, and I've decided I'm going to try something new. Something I've never really seen somebody do before. I'm going to start sketching out my plans for things on paper, scanning them in, and throwing them in like this this is my basically rough draft of what I plan to do this you know it's very simple the you know the little boxes of the houses and it's extremely simple sketch and I'm sure they'll get more detailed and whatnot as I continue on doing that that is if people like me doing that I rather like doing that uh, it's you know gives me something a little bit entertaining I can do outside of the game as well and it lets me take advantage of the scanner on the printer that we have here so I mean so far I'm the only person that's made use of the printer and this spreading right here once I got over this wall and got past these first sets of torches kind of like that it's just been spreading like wildfire which as I'm sure you notice I've taken the picture down already and that my handwriting is terrible but uh, you'll see this gap here now, I didn't want to just flatten the entire area around it, too. I wanted to leave a little bit of character to the area. Um, as you saw, if you could decipher that handwriting, I actually haven't quite looked at the picture yet. I'm recording this before I've scanned the picture, but I know where I'm putting it in. Uh, these are going to be five high. And then it's also going to be four wide, which I listed as four deep on the sketch. So, that's going to go up to, well, I need to do some more to this. Uh, if you look at all the other sides, there, it goes up to, and then there's over to, because it's going to be five, so it'll go up to here. Mobs won't be able to get over. And so, this is going to be dropped down, so it's like everything else. I haven't quite done that yet, but I've been working on this a lot. There's been about three days between the last episode and this one, I think. I'm so backlogged on videos that this still isn't going to go up for probably five days from the time I've recorded it. I've been trying to stop with the recordings so that way we can uh, catch up, things get a little bit more even. still don't have my headset that I mentioned ordering in the last one, but by the time this video comes out, I'll probably almost have it. But uh, that's not what this is about. We're going to go over here, because I'm sure you want to know where the hell I got all that dirt. And I'm going to show you. I purposely did it in a way where you won't really see it unless you're looking for it. Because I didn't want to ruin the landscape getting all the dirt. So, oh, by the way, this pick right here, that's a new pick. I've pretty much cut through all of my tools and stuff that I had. Same with the sword. New sword. Sharpness 3. That was pretty cool. It was, I think, a 37 or 38 enchant. And this was like 20-something. I was just trying to get 
uh, you know, a simple pick. You know, I was hoping for just unbreaking or something. It turned out pretty well. Which I got another pick I want to show you guys, but right after I show you this. This is where I got pretty much all the dirt for the bottom of that once I expended all the dirt I had in the underwater base, which is over that way. And any dirt I got while digging that up, which there wasn't much. So, that's that. This episode is going to be kind of showcasing at the moment. I was going to do like a wall building little uh, time lapse dealio, but I don't think there's going to be quite enough time for that because, first of all, the walls are going to take a while to build. I'm just going to kind of look at a little update, you know, show you what I've got in mind for the whole thing. Uh, I do have another sketch for what the houses are going to look like, but we'll get there once everything else is set up. I'm still going to do like a time lapse on the wall building, which. I wish I had like a third way, third way, uh, like a way to get something in here to record me from up top so you could get a nice, you know, third person overall view of me building it. But I don't have access to a second account to do that, so that's not going to happen. But uh, I'm sure you'll see there's a lot of chests over here. Now we're going to go through these sand, cobble, some gravel, some iron, more cobble some wood related products sandstone sandstone nothing here's this pick I th this pick is amazing that was a level 25 enchant I, I was like not even expecting to get fortune but sand uh, there's just a little bit of dirt in here that's all the dirt I have left uh, wood seeds miscellaneous things cobble Right, chest already checked it. And then this one's just got a random assortment of things. I got this helm off of a zombie, which I have had that a lot. And I got this bow off of a skeleton. So, things have been slowly piling up my... That I've been trying to store and whatnot. It's been getting a little ridiculous. But I'm sure you see that there's a building over here. And I meant to pick up that workbench over there. I put a bed there because, first of all, I was getting sick of mobs, so I was sleeping through some of the nights, and I wanted to set my spawn here because there was a few times I got killed by creepers because I was watching YouTube while doing this. I'm going to pick this up and move it there. Whoop. So much for that plan. Move it there. This is another branch mine that I set up because I wanted to have, well, first of all, my other branch mine hit a lot of stuff. And I wanted to do a neat design. I wanted to have like a village mine, which I have a name for it, but we'll worry about that once I finish the village. And these are supposed to be like wooden supports. I don't know what I think about them being indented. I did think about doing something about the uh, redesign the walls, but not quite about that yet. Uh, miscellaneous things, you know, from stuff down here. Ooh, I didn't know I had some dirt down here. Cobble, gravel, but this is going to be amazing. This is part of the reason why the fortune pick was awesome. I still have like 12 or so diamonds over at the other place, and then I got like 40 something here from like, I don't know, maybe 15 diamond pockets. Redstone, coal, lapis. This was like three blocks. There was literally three blocks, and I hit it with the fortune pick, which I got the same support thing going on in here as well. Uh, if you're wondering why this, why I didn't start the branch mine right here, well, first of all, there's a huge pool of lava around the whole outside of that. But, and I know that this is inefficient, this one block gap here. And I immediately hit lava right there, so I stopped that one. But it looks cool, kind of. At least it's uniform, mostly. And, uh... Obviously, I'm not completely done with the whole branch mining. And it's going to keep on going back and back and back and back and back because I need more. And I've thought about trying to find ways to expand it in other directions, but that's going to be a little bit harder. And this, because the whole thing is, you know, 3x3, three three, like down there, I should be able to make a second level, which should also yield diamonds. But, like I said, this episode was mostly to show things off. Whoop. That's right. I made an interesting noise. It was whoop. Just thought I'd do it again for you. But anyhow, 
Uh, that's mostly all I had on the agenda for today. Somewhere along the line, we are going to redo the double spider spawner because I think I can make it into an efficient experience farm, but it needs work. Lots of it. And I might redo it off camera because as it currently stands, that entire area is practically a disaster zone. It looks terrible. Look at this grass. It's just spreading ridiculously. But, uh, yeah, so... Uh, I was hoping that maybe I could get some ideas on what you guys wanted for the roads. I'm not quite sure what I want to make them out of yet. So, I haven't, for one. And then, this area out here, this is going to be the main entrance. If you looked closely at the, uh, the design, you'd see that I had the river listed on that, and the mine. Which, you should be able to orient things now. There's probably, I'm probably going to put a door there and put a subway system over to the uh, underwater base. I love two-shotting creepers. I don't even have to run away from them or be careful or anything. I just run to them and destroy them. But one of those villagers, I'm going to get them over here in a contained box inside the wall, essentially. But there's going to be like a iron-gated area out there, kind of like a entrance booth, too. Kind of, but it's still going to be considered outside. And I'm going to wire up a pressure plate, both inside and outside, to an RS NOR latch. And that's going to basically trigger all the doors. If it's nighttime, all four doors are going to be closed, which there's going to eventually be a castle over there. I don't have my design for that made yet, so I can't put that up for you. Um, but there's going to be a bunch of piston doors that are going to be controlled. Guardsman Bob... I don't know if you saw in the paper. That's what I'm gonna. That's what he's labeled. Um, he's going to also be a day-night sensor, which I intend to put some redstone lamps through here too. That'll light up when it becomes nighttime. They all retreat into the buildings, and some of those buildings are gonna be done differently. Hopefully, I can get some like crappy concept art, like everything else. You know, kind of. Uh. But I'm gonna get like a blacksmith, and there's gonna be a potions place. It's going to be kind of like a standard adventure game town. You know, you got your general goods, your potions, your uh, blacksmith that sells your weapons and armor. And it's going to be... I, I got plenty of ideas. It's going to be cool. Not all the buildings are going to be the same. I'm going to build them out of different materials. And I know I didn't really do anything. I was just kind of running around, talking about my ideas and whatnot. And I apologize for not doing a whole lot, but I just... I showed you a few things, such as that mine, and the diamonds that are in there now, where I got all the dirt, and the progress that's coming along on this. The next video is likely, I can almost guarantee you, it's going to have a time lapse of me building up the walls here. Not going to be too much detail on like the flooring on the inside and whatnot, and I'll probably try and uh, beautify these edges a little bit, um, you know, where the exposed... Uh, stone and sandstone are. I want to put sand in there so it just still looks like a desert. And I do have an idea for what else I want to do out front over here, but that's going to have to wait. I also want to make a cow farm because bread is annoying. Plain and simple. But uh, just want to bring you guys up to speed on what I was doing. And, yeah. And I want to show up that little rough draft thing, see what you guys thought of that whole idea. If you think me drawing up rough drafts like that and putting them in is a terrible idea, let me know. Or if you like it, let me know. But, uh, you don't, I suppose, here's what we'll do. If you like the idea of the rough draft you know, putting up those little drawings that I've scanned in and hand-drawn. Like the video. If you don't like them, dislike the video. If you... You know, this video should be getting no real likes or dislikes. It's more of a... Well, it's now a survey. So, the like and dislike button is now surveys. You will tell me whether you like the rough draft concept art stuff or whether you don't. Using likes or dislikes. But uh, that's all I have to say for now, so I will see you guys in the next episode.